Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some EU4. If you are new here, my name is Chewy. I like to play uh, EU4 is my primary game. We like to play a little bit of Crusader Kings, other things like here. We are on Twitch, so if you are interested in seeing some of this stuff live, go check us out at twitch.tv slash Chewy Shoot. Same as my name on here. Uh, we got streams up there multiple times per week, but today we're going to be starting as Switzerland. And uh, I'm sure you can tell by the title. Oh, right, we gotta turn these on. We are going to be going for the good old Switzer Lake achievement, but we're gonna take it a step farther than that. Where are we at here? Let me country for. We're gonna go a step farther than that, and we are going to get naval hegemon. So, the goal for the campaign, the Switzer Lake achievement, which I'll show you guys right here in a moment as soon as we log in, load in. Uh, basically, I think it's a hundred provinces while owning no coastal provinces, something like that. Where is it at? So it's like, own 99 provinces in Switzerland while owning no ports. That'll be really easy. All we need to do is just have a vassal own all of our pro port provinces. That's no big deal at all. So, right off of the bat, we can see what we have available to us. We will not rival Memigan because he is a free city and it never makes sense to attack free cities, so, or rival free cities. Uh, let's go with, who can we ally here? Anybody around us? Venice would be a good choice. So let's take a look at our guy over here. Yikes. Uh, no good choices. Okay, well, Württemberg is the best. Uh, let's rival Milan. I think we rival the three leagues so we can annex them because they are Swiss culture. Uh, I think they might be the only Swiss culture, right? No. Where's it at here? Yep, they're the only other Swiss culture. So, day one, we're going to do this. Um, so, where are we steering to? All right, so we're over here. So, is the three leagues over here? They are. So, let's do a little bit of that. Our economy is okay. Not good. We can't really afford any um, anybody day one. We are a republic, so we might as well get our free general there. Let us do this guy here. Uh, Pope man likes me, I will gladly do that. Uh, Monopoly on wool wouldn't get a whole lot for it. So let's just do these clicks here. Uh huh. That's fine with me. Mm, these two guys here. Increased levies is probably not worth it because they have low crown land. Well, actually, let's see here. Can we get the cheaper generals? Army tradition of 30. Okay. So we'll come back to that. So one they like to do free enterprise. This guy, that's all we want to do for that. Okay, cool. So let us improve relations with Pope Man. We might be able to get an alliance with him. So let's unpause here. Possibly. Who are you rivaled to? I could rival Provence. I can rival Venice. I can't rival either of them. Constanz is also a free city, so that doesn't make any any. So we're getting quite a bit of spy network against him. It'd be even better. Yes Let's take this guy. Let's turn our forts off and our army So this is all Swiss culture as well, so we're gonna want to beat up on these guys eventually as well He doesn't have any friends that I'm worried about either. So I think I rival Savoy He's rival to Aragon, so I might be able to pick up a friend over here and him We'll go for that in a moment. 2.6 per month, very good. They need a Jigelian. Of course they do. So we're built up to force limit, which is making us a little bit stronger. People are gonna be more willing to ally us. So I don't know about allying the Pope. We'll, we'll see, possibly. I'm not gonna get my hopes up about it. Let's get uh, you on there. So our first ruler is a cruel 142. Not the best. So I'm actually going to have you lead that army there. And uh, we need 30 to get a claim over here. Doesn't matter which one. We'll just take one of them. Okay. We're just waiting on it. Eventually, I would like to get an ally who isn't garbage. Okay, Savoy got excommunicated. That is really good for us because he's young too. Cool. So that's something we're going to definitely go for because these two provinces are both in our culture group. They're both our primary culture even. 
and then Geneva's as well. So we'd probably take Geneva as well as these two. That that would be the goal. Let's focus on Mill. The sooner we get Mill Tech, the better. For those of you who don't know, in 1.30, Provence likes me a bit more or not. In 1.30, they made it so you have to have an extra 50% to fabricate claims if you're inside of the HRE. Oh, come on now. It says that we lost it, but they're definitely still excommunicated. So he's allied to Austria, so that basically just completely ruins this. So, very good. Oh. Really? Well, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. So that's not gonna work. Let's get some spy network over here. Okay, we're gonna be able to get, we can probably get both of them actually, so that'll be really good for us. Let's speed five it for a moment. Just get our relations topped off with Pope Man. Make sure that we're, we're friendly with him. These guys are not improving with me. Papal State is now the controller. Just lose the government reform. Luckily, it's all in our capital state and this one, like our, our autonomy is zero. So we gain one a month. 1.6 a month. It's pretty good. So obviously this is going to be a pretty tall campaign. So I like to do this as well, especially if you get this early on. Spend 100, that way you get two. So that's really good. Consolidate Switzerland. All right, I haven't even looked at the mission. So we get permanent claims on all of this stuff over here. Or is that cores? <gasps> cores? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, that's about best case scenario. We can spend the money, it's no big deal. Alpine Bastions. So, fort level at least three. So that's gonna take a minute. Oh, three owned provinces. Okay, yeah, it's gonna take some time. Affair of the Sausages. So, it looks like we're gonna end up needing to go either Protestant or Reformed or find a stance in the Council of Trent. So, if I can ally him, okay. Wald and Wal is it Wald and Vodis? I think because the V and the W get switched. Or something like that. So I need to own those and I get a bunch of base tax, a bunch of dev. Integrate the three leagues will give me base tax and stuff as well. So the fact that he's allied to Austria is pretty garbage. I shouldn't have rivaled him so early. I think that was a mistake. Okay. So we're gonna get that one. These guys are going to want to be my ally, so that'll be really good to have an Aragon. Hmm. Let's do this to ally the Pope Man. Let's recall him. Let's improve relations with him. And we have the prestige, so let's send a scornful insult to Castile, which will... Oh, wait, no. Oh, dang it. That was a mistake. I meant a scornful insult to him, which will give us improved relations with him. And then in a month, we'll be able to, or two or three months, we'll be able to improve him. Let's get rid of this guy so we can save up some money. I don't think I can handle this one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe? Eh, I don't know. We got some good provinces here. Scorched Earth is really strong. This is grasslands and our capital is hills, so... If we pick up a Discipline Advisor, I think we could probably manage that. Let's let's pick up a friend in Aragon first. All right, let's continue to build our spy network on you. That'll help our sieges. And then one more month, we should be able to ally him. One more month, maybe? The fact that we're a Republic doesn't help out with getting alliances. There we go. So we're looking good now. All right. Savoy, Mantua, and Brigens. So here's the here's here's the deal though. Yeah. 
They would have a lot of men to be able to beat up on me. I think we just have to play it safe for a bit. Maybe if we can get a Miltech advantage, I will. Speaking of... This is worth the extra crown land. We'll go below for a bit, but we're gonna be able to get a, we'll be getting a lot more mill points from that. So it'll be worth it for sure in the long term. And in two years, we'll be able to yoink crown land back. So it's no big deal. Dev cost is good. Might end up using that a bit. We have a decent bit of dev over here. Oh, he's into he's a uh, rebellious actually. Okay, so this war is actually a lot less. Oh, they have a vassal of Montferrat. Is Montferrat rebellious? They almost. Right. So let's attack him. He won't come into my land because he's gonna be rebellious to him. So he'll just sit here. He won't do anything. Um. Savoy has him as an, a vassal. He had him before. I just was misreading it. This would probably be suicide. I really do think we need to just wait it out a little bit. Is Savoy over here? No. What about over here? No. Okay, so we are making money now. It might just be worth it to go over our force limit for a little bit. We got busted spying. It's really weird. That it's not including him in there. The 15... How are these numbers different? Savoyer is 7. But then if we switch over to him, does it say Savoy to 7? Ah, okay, 4 plus the 3. Okay. I think we go 2 over our limit here. And I'm going to I'm going to Leroy Jenkins it. I think this is the right call. Let's up our maintenance. He's not very good. I think we go with a mill candidate. Give me something good. Come on, baby. Four shock is good. I'll take that. Cool. All right. Let's turn this forward on as well. We're, we're going to go into some debt for this war, but it'll give us back a bunch of these cords, which is really good. Um, Now we just need to hope for a couple of really good stack wipes. We'll go one more month to rec let our um, recover, our tick recover. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go for these province here. Now we're going to turtle. We're going to head over here. We're going to head over here. Going to stack wipe this little guy because you have no right to live. Um, I think for now, we're just going to hold off. I want those guys to head over there. Here we go. A 1-1 one, one to a 1-4 and they're outnumbered. We're gonna flank him hard. Gonna take him a minute to reinforce. They won't be there till the seventh, so I think we wipe him. Ah, he reinforced, sadly. But you can already see he's lost way more men than we have. So we'll see how the manpower pools look for them in the long term, because this is gonna take him. This war is gonna be a bit of a grind. It might be in our best interest to get these mercs. They're very cheap. So I think I'll do that. We're going to be way over our limit. Matter of fact, I think it's going to be in our best interest to cut these two guys out. That'll cut how much we're spending quite a bit. You want to head over that way? It's fine with me, buddy. He's just going to keep getting stack wiped over and over again. All I want are these three provinces. It's, it's all we're looking for from this. We have a siege. We do not have a siege, Pip. So he's disloyal. All right, let's begin the slow march over here. Where are these guys? Ooh, there they are. Hold on. 
Might be able to catch them over here in the mountains. Oh, uh, we can definitely catch these guys over here. There you go. Where are you guys going, huh? Very good. They're gonna get onto our capital and we'll be able to uh, wipe them out. Hopefully. That should be a wipe. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Very good. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Glory Seeker, more prestige, please. Ah, uh, they're gonna get in there way quicker than we will. The third and the eighth. But it's only a five stack to our 15, so it should be easy. Ah, uh, they got a three stack coming in. Scorched Earth, but we're gonna take much heavier casualties than we should. Oh, just kidding. They're gonna go in and stack wipe themselves. Let's get over for the monthly tick. Monthly tick. Loot. Loot. Ah. Very good. So Brigens is definitely getting some more exhaustion from having their armies wiped over and over again. So we actually, we actually have 25% war score. Just from battles? Really? 29 from battles. That's, uh, that's impressive. I can't lie about that. I don't know what's going on over here. Oh, they're getting siege down in a different war. Alright, very good. On to the next one. We are losing a bit of money from this. Oh, he's loyal now. No. I don't know why he's marching into my lands. Maybe he's just running away. I don't know. Let's get his army out of there, though. We'll scorch this one as well, because they don't be able to take it back automatically. Very good. So check this out. Scorch this one. Never underestimate Scorched Earth, boys. I'm telling you. So on the 18th of May, so we want to get there on like the 20th. There you go. So it'll pop out. See? Boom. Wipe. This one will be out on the 27th. I can be there on the 29th. Very good. It'll pop out. Boom. Dead. This will be our war goal. Uh, I guess I'll take nobility loyalty. I, I need to start getting some admin tech. So what are you guys looking like? Uh, looks like they actually quit, like, give it, they gave up on us, so I'll just piece him out. I don't want him in this war. And once we take this, which is grasslands, hmm. You guys want to do that? Disease Outbreak, the classic. Though our siege ability is pretty good here. Augsburg wants... Uh, the ability to move through our land, so I'll do that. So let's leave our leave these guys behind to continue the siege. I suppose if they're not gonna siege my land, I don't really care. So I'll let them lock in. They could be there. Oh, they're getting over to this one. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know where you guys are going. Looks like these guys are in war with some. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Brigenz is getting dogpiled really hard. <laughs> well, serves you right, I suppose. Let's take Miltech, which will give us a morale boost as well as, um... So take a look at this. Look at our quality. Tech 4 is nothing to be made light of. Like, you need Tech 4. You have to have Tech 4. Your whole... This whole game is harder unless you if you don't have Tech 4. Unless, you know, it's 1v1, 1 to 1, 3 to 3. That, that's the major one. Let's get on to his capital. Pull you guys over there. Something like this. Hey, we won a 14 percenter. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it, boys. So let's get these guys grouped up. These guys will run down here and siege down Montferrat. Actually, just kidding. Why can I not group them? Oh, uh, right, because they're mercs. Let's have you guys head on down here. Apparently I don't have mill access through there, so... Let's have the mercs head on over here. So 
thumb like this. Save a little bit of manpower if we can. And speaking of... The early Republican tradition... I think the random candidate bonus is just too strong to not take. So we're obviously going to take all of our cores. Um, but I think it would be foolish to not take a little bit more. Like, um... I could vassalize him. That'd be so much... We'll take a look at it. At the very least, I might transfer um, Montferrat over to myself. We'll, we'll see how things go. I mean, we're only 52 ducats in debt. So we're obviously going to take his money. Maybe this is actually our best bet. Get a Humiliate off and... Oh, yeah. Because that'll finish our age objective right off the bat. If we can ever win a siege, we'll see. For some reason, both of my generals are over there. Got some uh, pretender rebels over here. We're not going to be able to actually siege this down, but we want to at least get him on low enthusiasm. Oh, yikes. Uh, that's no good. No general on that stack either. No. Okay. Let's uh, win this. Scorch it. Get out of there. Yeah, that was kind of bad. They just appeared out of nowhere. I didn't even see them. We must have got there like on the same day. That's okay though. So let's actually have a... S you guys head over there. Have you guys head over here. Okay, they're heading right onto my capital actually. So this is... Best case scenario right here. As soon as these guys get on there. Very good. We'll trade it off. You guys can try to run. I don't think it's going to be good for you. I don't think it's going to work. Because we are scorched. And should be a stack wipe for Mantua. Easy peasy. Alright, so Mantua is on high enthusiasm. But I have a feeling that if I get onto his capital. We will be good. Though we have to watch out for these pretender rebels over here. So let's march around. That was a big stack wipe, though. Very good. So let's see here. They'll be out on the 7th. We'll be there on the 8th. So let's wait one more day. There you go. Just for insult to injury. All right. You guys are out. Very good. Munferrat's got some guys up here. <laughs> These guys are attacking... Oh, Burgundian. Well, that's not going to do anything for you guys because I have all that land. Let's get... Oh, right. He's my he's my rival. Um, He'll give me mill access because I think Savoy is his other rival. So this is fine. They want to get onto Cuneo. That's fine. Might be able to get the peace very soon, actually. As soon as we take his capital, we'll be able to peace out for whatever we want. Ooh. This might be my chance. Yeah, this is going to be my chance. I can't vassalize him, for sure. But, I will be able to dismantle him, as well as uh, humiliate him. And then Austria will hopefully get his wiener kicked in by um, by uh, Burgundy and his vassal swarm. Come on now, bro. Siege has been going on for a year and a half. Level three, level three forts are just absolute cancer this early in the game. With no uh, no cannons, so I think we can afford. Yeah, we can get rid of our mercs here. Let's get these guys out of there. Get rid of them. No more paying for them. We don't need them. Ulm wants through. Sounds good. So we took out 78 ducats and loans. We'll get it all back in this war and then some. Plus some cores. This is all our cores, so we don't even have to pay for it. Crazy. And we're still not winning sieges, though. How old is this guy? He's cruel. Um, a 222 is still not that good. And a 124, Manuel von Hasseln. And he's got righteous. Republican tradition is really good. Very good. So, that's all we want. 
three Diplo or three AE. Lots of money. There we go. Uh, actually, I want the war ups. There we go. These these buttons are bugged. Okay. Very good. Pay off all of our debt. This is all going to go down to zero autonomy, I believe. And just like that, we are good. We can break this alliance, this uh, mill access off. We don't need that anymore. Get some claims over here, event, and then cut that out. So, free points and sway Geneva. Uh, yep, can't be swayed. They do not exist anymore. Very good. Reorganize the Confederacy. So integrating the three leagues will give us advisor cost till the end of the game. Very good. And a bunch of permanent claims as well as Diplo rep for 20 years and some points over here. So what we're waiting on is Austria to not be willing to back him up, which is going to take a long time because he's the emperor and the emperor is basically always willing to defend. So we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, actually, I think we're not going to have you be leading. I think having him drill is going to be for the best. Are we over our limit? We're under our limit. So let's drill him. Get another guy in there. We can afford it. So let's speed five for a moment. Make sure we can afford it. Looks like we are... Let's uh, send you a scornful insult. You suck and I hate you. And then also you get a... So now we have large PP. We're raking in the points. We don't have enough money. Oh, wait, maybe we do. Here, give me those war reps, baby. Some national manpower would be good. Some national tax is good. And I think that's good. We don't need the Diplo points. That's not something I'm concerned about. Diplomats should be improving with some people. So let's see here. Pope man's good. Let's improve with him. Let's see if we can get Papal Controller. That would help out quite a bit. So we have cores over here. Like, if he won't... Hmm. If he... I don't know, man. Let's see here. Um, who, <laughs> who's defending you? Mantua. Want some Kandadiari? Yeah, you do. 41 ducats? Nah. I think I'd rather drill right now. Let's take a look at if we have any other friends available to us. And I know this has been a little bit of a longer episode, but I think it was very much necessary. Are there any personal unions over here? Passau is a vassal of Munich, so... Maybe. These guys are not rival to Austria. Poland and Bohemia. Mamluks and me. Hmm. Okay, we'll figure that out. I think that's a good place to call it for the first episode. I would say that we came out ahead. We definitely have no debt. We have a little bit of inflation. No big deal. We reconquered, reconquered some of our home state. And uh, let's take a look here. We'll, we'll do our, our, uh, our check. We have eight of the 99 to get our achievement. And so... We'll get more of them in the next one. So, like I said before, if you guys um, are interested in checking out the Twitch, we stream multiple days per week over on their twitch.tv slash chewy shoot. Uh, there's plenty of ways to support the channel if you do want to, uh, but more importantly, if you want to show your support and leave a like, that's free and it helps us out a ton. If you want to subscribe and ding the bell, you'll get notifications every time we upload. So if you want to see what's going on on these campaigns every day, that's the best way to do it. Check out the Discord as well, linked in the description below, as well as all of the ways to support the channel. But that's all I got for you. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A very special, huge thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Spartan Omega, as well as the other very generous people, Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Angelic, Jaren Clampett, Martin Dressel, Some Kind of Meme, Corbett Gaming, Blonde Damon, Thomas Jarden, The Bitter Steel, Joseph Catchell, RJ Pilot, Home TV, Disdain, and many, many more. Your continued support is what allows this channel to thrive, and I appreciate you very much.